Welcome back. Summer's the time of year when we see the most orange cones and yellow tape, the symbols of construction and renovation around the valley. Indiana State's campus is no different with several projects in the works right now. Nicole Christine took a tour today of some of the university's current renovations. She's here now to update that. Nicole? Yeah, Tom, there's certainly plenty of orange and yellow to go along with that sycamore blue on campus, and university leaders say all that construction signifies success. On Indiana State's campus, it seems there's always new renovations taking place. We have 72 buildings and over 4 million square feet, so there's always something that needs renovation or, or, uh, or repair. This summer, renovations on the 4th Sycamore Tower Rhodes Hall finished up, and work on the College of Health and Human Services building, the North Gym, and the Fine Arts building are also well underway. The deadline for summer projects is usually before students come back to campus in August, but renovating old buildings can create challenges. So anytime you remove a wall or a floor, you uncover uh, surprises, uh, so that impacts our schedule and we're always having to catch up to be ready uh, in August. The Fine Arts Building, which opened in 1940, featured its own unique obstacles as workers had to remove several grand pianos. It was interesting. It all went fine. Um, um, but you know they had to take out one of the section of a wall and, and they had a big crane in with special equipment to <laughs> crane the grand pianos out. Collaboration has played a big role in campus renovations and Dean Chris Olson says the teamwork involved allows for a better finished product. The architects have been great about meeting with each of the faculty who teach in each of those spaces and talking with them really in depth about um, you know just the, the placement of materials in classrooms and what kind of materials to use on the walls and and you know, it, it, it just just very attentive to what the student experience will be like. And that experience is the drive behind the constant cycle of renovations on ISU's campus. Projects that benefit all who call themselves sycamores. I think it's a, a great for the university to uh, improve these spaces for our, our customers, our faculty, and, and students uh, to just to create better spaces for them. Dean Olson says the Fine Arts Building renovation will benefit not only those on campus, but also those involved with the Community School of the Arts, which he says will be much more conveniently located in the new space. Tom. All right, good story. Thanks, Nicole. The Fine Arts Building renovations are set to be completed by August of next year, just in time for the 2019-20 school year.